Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing an all drugstore look. I feel like I've been giving you guys a lot of more high end or even though I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls for a discount, it's still not drugstore. So I wanted to do a look for you guys today that is all drugstore. You can get it from Walmart, you can get it from Target, inexpensive and you can still get a beautiful beat face. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, I'd like to invite you to stay. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it is mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you wanna see how I got this look using all drugstore affordable products, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so today's video, like I said, is going to be a drugstore look. I have everything laid out. Some of this stuff I have not used yet. We're gonna go completely drugstore. I'm starting off with my Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Primer. I use this a lot over the summer. I haven't used it in a while, so I wanted to bring it back out. I did my eyebrows already. I use the NYX brow pencil, the micro brow pencil. I haven't used this in a while and honestly I know a lot of people say it's a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills I don't feel like it is and I say that because I use the shade espresso and I feel like I had to go in so many times with that pencil and it was just like this is taking way longer than it should so I just feel like it's either too waxy or not as pigmented not one of my faves but it got the job done and then I cleaned them up with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer and I may use this under my eyes or e.l.f. I'm not sure yet. So we're going to let that sit and today because I had so much fun doing it before I'm going to do the tape trick again for my eye look and I do already know what I'm doing. Who am I? Um, so I'm just going to apply this real quick and then we will jump straight into it. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow base. I haven't used this in a while and I was going through my drawer in my bathroom and I was like, I need to use this. This is white. So I do go in with a lighter hand with it just because it is so pigmented. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to pick it up on the brush and just put this on my eyes. So this is gonna really help my colors pop. That is enough, this spreads a lot. I am gonna go ahead and just lightly, lightly set this. I'm gonna use my NYX Three, Sculpt, Three Steps to Sculpt Face Palette. I haven't used this in a while. And I'm just gonna take the banana shade and just lightly pat to help set it. And then we will go straight into the eye look. And I'm going to be using the News of New York by Maybelline palette. I've used this before, but I don't think I've used it on camera. So I wanted to use it because I actually really enjoyed this palette when I used it. So I'm going to start off with the shade Explorer, which is this one here. And I'm going to start that in my crease. This palette reminds me a lot of the Too Faced palette that came out. I think it was last year, the Nudes one or Natural, whatever, that's kind of shaped the same. I didn't get that palette because I was just like, I don't need another nude. And I have other Too Faced palettes, mainly, I think I only have the peach one actually, that I like. So I was just like, eh, I'm going to skip it. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I just was not in the market for another neutral palette. Next I'm going to go in with the shade and we'll do self starter which is this one here on the end this dark one. I'm going to take a smaller brush. Ooh, that is pigmented. I 
And then of course, I'm just gonna go back around the edge with Explorer and blend that out some. For my lid shade, I wanna use something different. I showed y'all this during the summer. This is the e.l.f. Dirty Martini. I don't know what they call these. It is not on here, but this is like their Stila um, liquid eyeshadows. This is what the applicator looks like. And this is the shade. Absolutely gorgeous. And I've never used this. So I'm not going to cut my crease. I'm just going to use this to do it. And we'll see how it applies. I feel like this color is coming off a bit darker than it looks in the tube. It's gorgeous, but I mean, I guess it's giving a cut crease a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do, because I do wanna lighten this up a little bit, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Bite Size Hot Jalapeno Eyeshadow Quad. And I'm going to take the shimmery green shade here and I'm gonna put that on top of this one. Ooh, where do I wanna start? Ooh, yes, that is definitely more of what I wanted. So I'm just patting this on top of the liquid one where I want to intensify it on the inner part. And then I'm just gonna let the outer third stay dark. I'm gonna take the yellow kind of goldish shade and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go back with the glitter and I'm gonna put a little bit more on the outer edge here just to help blend. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Maybelline palette and use Self Starter again on the outer edge. And just stamp that in to darken it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our wing liner while we're at it before we take our tape off. And I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Liner. This is in Ultra Black. And I love that this has a brush tip. It's black, but I definitely feel like I'm gonna need to put another layer to make it be completely opaque on top of the glitter. It's a little better. There we go. You just have to build it up. I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I'll be back. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face and I'll come back and finish the eyes. I do have this e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer that I'm gonna use today. I did put an eye cream on, but I just want to use this too. I think I've had this. <laughs> I'm in the habit of smelling stuff now. Y'all saw my last video with that Urban Decay. That was bad. Anything around the eyes other than eyeshadows, because I will put old eyeshadows on. But liquid stuff, just I feel like that's a different level of we're not going to play with that. So 
We're going to let that sit while we do our face. For foundation today, I really wanted to use the flower one that I just got, but I realized I never showed you guys this Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I got mine in the shade Caramel, which says Deep Tan with Neutral Undertones. This is what it looks like. Pretty popular foundation. Absolutely hate how this smells. It is atrocious. And I don't think this is my shade to make matters worse, but we are going to make it work. I'm actually going to color correct a little bit just in case because I don't know the coverage on this. So I'm going to do just a little bit. So I went ahead and color corrected with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Corrector in the shade Orange. So we're just going to go in with the foundation. Oh, it might not be too bad, actually. I think it's just because it's so much lighter than what <laughs> I normally use, which is normally too dark for me. So now something that's actually my shade, I'm like, eh, I don't know, might be too light. I'm just going to stamp this in on the areas that I color corrected to make sure it has enough coverage. Mm, why does this look like it's streaky? Mm, I don't know if this doesn't play well with my primer or if it's this brush. I'm going to switch brushes because I don't like how this is applying at all. I'm going to use my e.l.f. buffing brush. Yeah, I feel like that's better already. The shade actually doesn't look bad. I'm going to add another pump. So this will be my third pump. Well, half a pump came out. So and just apply this mainly where I color corrected the most so that my face does not look orange through it. it smells not as bad as I remember either. I don't know. So this is where we are with the foundation. I'm not going to put any more. I think this is really good coverage. And it's a good color match. I'm surprised. Very surprised. And then for concealer, I'm going to use this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. This is in the shade ooh, matte finish. Neutral tan 12.7. I don't know. I feel like my under eyes are pretty hydrated, so we should be all right. This is a good color. This one is actually sitting on my vanity and my products I want to use up. So I've been trying it out to see if I'm either going to use it up or I'm going to get rid of it. I don't hear people talk about this anymore. I don't know if it's just other stuff's replaced it or it just people didn't think it was that great. Was it too drying? It's definitely matte and drying down fast, so might be better off using this in sections and blending it out. But on a good note, the fact that it's drying down so fast means it's not going to lift up like other foundation, other concealers that I've had before, where they start picking up here on the inside and moving my foundation and and all patchy. I'm going to set this, but I'm going to set it lightly because it says that it's matte. I'm going to go right under my eyes with this NYX palette. The main areas, but I have another powder I want to use as well. Making sure I increasing. And then I'm going to go over around the edges with my Boots number no. 7 Lift and Illuminate powder. Oh, I feel like I look dry. That NYX powder said it was not NYX powder. That concealer said it was a matte foundation said it was a satin. I do not know about satin. My face feels really dry already. For bronzer, I'm going to use that same palette to contour and bronze. And I'm just going to take this dark shade here. 
I don't even feel like I need to set the rest of my face because it feels so dry already. And then I'm going to go back around this. I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. I haven't used this in a while. And honestly, I just want to use it because if you can see, there's a slight overspray in there. So it looks like there's a bit of shimmer. I just want some help with how dry and matte I look. This has not been my preference lately. Your girl likes to look glowy and healthy and hydrated. You can't look like that if it looks like you got the life sucked out of your face. I'm going to go ahead and set my brows now. I have this NYX. This is their Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Espresso. I don't like how big the wand is on this one. You can see this is huge for eyebrows, but it works because I have enough eyebrow hair. If I didn't, this would make a mess. And then for blush, I don't know that I've used this. I think I've swatched it, but I don't think I've used it. This is the e.l.f. What is this called? The pomegranate. I don't know if they called it a bite-sized cheek duo or something like that, but this is in the shade pomegranate. So we're going to use that today. I'm going to start off with the highlighter first and then do my blush on top of it to help everything blend. That's pretty. Had another highlighter as a backup because I wasn't sure if this was going to be enough. I might still use the other one. <laughs> Y'all know me and my highlighter and blush. And it's crazy because I'll either do like super bright highlighter or none at all. There's not much of an in-between for me. It doesn't look like it's highlighting any texture. I mean, it looks bright on camera, but I don't feel like it looks bright in my mirror. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this Maybelline Master Chrome. This is in Molten Gold. She about to come through. I barely even dipped in there. Before. after highlights because i used to do blush then highlighter then more blush so now we're going to do blush and i am going to use the elf one which i'm happy this looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it oh i like this combo Ooh, she highlighting boy <laughs> why do we get like this every time we apply highlighter and you see how that just makes everything so blended and <laughs> I'm a mess guys I know comment below and tell me if you guys like make sound effects whenever you do blush or is it just me it can't be just me all right we're gonna finish the bottom lash line so I'm gonna use the same colors that I used on my lid I start off with the gold shade for the inner part from the bite size jalapeno the shade is so pigmented I know these little palettes got a lot of hype and some of them I was like why are you getting so much hype you're not that great and then some of them, like this one, I was like, oh, that's why. And then I'm going to go in with the dark brown self starter and put that the rest of the way. I like it. I'm going to take a little bit of the dark green from the e.l.f. palette just to help 
tie everything together kind of smoke it out a little more I don't normally bring it down this low but we're trying something new and then for eyeliner I'm not gonna do a black I'm gonna do a brown like I do most of the time but this one I think is a little dark this is the wet n wild on edge long wear eye pencil in wouldn't you know it I like how dark this one is I just hate that you have to sharpen it there's so many other pencils that I gravitate towards more simply because they're retractable all right, I'm going to go put lashes on, mascara, all that stuff. For mascara, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous, nothing different. And then lashes, I'm going to use my Magnetic Kiss Tempt Lashes. And then we will come back and do lips and finish up this look. I love it when my lashes decide to play nice. All right, so moving on to lips. Today I'm going to use my NYX lip liner. This is the slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on. Waterproof extreme color lip liner. And this one is in the shade Urban Cafe. It is a reddish brown. I love the formula of these. This name is just ridiculous. And it would be better if it was retractable. We're going to use the Milani Cedar Layer Liquid Cat Suit High Intensity High Shine Lipstick. And this is a liquid. This is what the applicator looks like. I've had this for a while, so it's literally rubbing off. It just goes so perfect. The other shade I had was really dark, and I think it would have been too... Yeah, it would have been too purplish, maybe. How about we do an ombre? That is definitely something I have never done, but hey, I like how that turned out. All right, guys, so this is it for the final look. Absolutely love the way the eyeshadow came out. Love that liquid glitter like the Stila ones. I do think the color was a little darker than I expected which is why I decided to lighten it up but overall I love how easy it was to apply and it stayed it worked really well as a base so I would wear it on its own but today I just wanted something with a little more pop to it so this is what we have I like how the foundation looks I was kind of nervous at first I do still feel like I'm really dry so I'm probably going to put a setting spray on top a hydrating one but other than that, I think the shade, the shade got a little more, I feel like it got a little cooler on me. I don't know, maybe, but I still like how it looks. This is, I like this. I like this a lot. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hadn't done a drugstore video for you in a while. So wanted to give you something new and remind you, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get a beautiful look. I hope you enjoyed the video and again if you're new here I would love to have you stay and join the family so please hit that subscribe button and if you like how this look turned out please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!